German train drivers have begun their longest ever strike, bringing travel chaos to the country. The dispute with Deutsche Bahn is over pay and is set to last six days. Experts say the cost of Germany's economy is enormous. The last train strike is only a few weeks past, and this time the train drivers' union is doubling down. For six days, no trains shall run, and that includes the company's cargo business. The strike will affect large parts of Europe, as more than half of Deutsche Bahn's freight transport services are crossing borders. Six out of Europe's 11 main freight corridors are running through Germany. Among those, routes connecting the continent's largest ports to destinations in southern Europe, the Mediterranean and Eastern Europe. Deutsche Bahn says each strike day will cost the company around $25 million in lost business, but the effects on the economy will be much greater. According to analysis by the German Economic Institute, a full-on rail strike can cause losses of up to 100 million euros per day. Counting possible supply chain interruptions, even a billion euros in damages is in the cards. Add to that a psychological toll, yet another rail strike is sure to put a strain on people's nerves and it impacts Germany's already tarnished image as a business location. Well, for more, I'm joined now by DW correspondent Matthew Moore. He's standing by at the Berlin, at Berlin's central train station. Matthew, Germany is looking at six days with virtually no rail network. How will this affect people? Well, this is an unprecedented train strike, as we heard, and it's meant to cause unprecedented disruption to passengers. Around 80% of long-distance trains will not run this week. Deutsche Bahn, who runs the trains, has said that they will put on extra carriages with more capacity, but they basically warn passengers to expect huge delays. It's not just long-distance trains. Germany's regional train network is also affected. Around 75% of those trains have, have been cancelled, or will it be delayed? And as we heard, freight transport too. So we heard that freight transport is going to be affected. Germany is at the logistical heart of, of the cargo train network. And I just spoke to the per spokesperson for, for the, for the freight um, railways, and they said that overnight only critical supplies were being ferried around and that even those trains had huge delays. So I think if passengers um, are just, uh, feel the effects of this um, and consumers too, we might start to see that people really get um, fed up with, with the train strikes. So what's this strike all about, Matthew? What are rail workers demanding? Put bluntly, Terry, the, the drivers' union wants more money for fewer hours. They're essentially looking to reduce hours from 38 per week to 35, and they want um, a 3,000 euro one-off tax free compensation for the soaring inflation that we've experienced here in the last couple of years. Deutsche Bahn, the German railway networks, basically rejected that outright. But the problem really is that the two sides haven't sat down to negotiate since November. And so um, they're locked in a very bitter dispute. Deutsche Bahn's recent offer last Friday was rejected. They offered something like 5% pay rise this year and another 5% next year. But the, the key issue and it appears to be the, 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 the sticking point appears to be this reduction in working time from 38 hours to 35. So at the moment, both sides not want, willing to give an inch. We heard in the report, Matthew, that the strike could cost Germany up to a billion euros. Can the government do anything to stop this? Well, so far, the government has tried to stay out of this. Um, Chancellor Olaf Scholz has said he doesn't feel that it would be right for him to get involved in an industrial dispute between two private parties. He's probably aware as well that he doesn't want to have 40,000 train drivers turning against him. However, if this starts to affect the public mood in Germany, and if people start to pin the blame on the government, then he may feel, Terry, that he has no choice but to get involved. Matthew, thank you very much. That was our correspondent, Matthew Moore, at Berlin's Central Train Station. We're here in Germany. Train drivers have begun their longest ever strike, piling on travel misery for thousands of passengers. Economic experts warn the dispute over pay and working hours could cost the economy up to a billion euros. The strike is set to last until next Monday. Germany at a standstill again. The fourth rail strike in a matter of weeks began in the early hours of Tuesday. 
and this walkout is expected to hit hardest. I'm standing in the middle of Berlin's main train station during rush hour, but if you look around, it feels like a ghost town. That's because this is the first day of six day long strike, the longest in German rail history. Passengers and freight transport has been told to expect massive disruption. With only an emergency timetable, it's estimated that each strike day could cost up to 100 million euros. Those caught up in the chaos, not amused. I'm fed up with it. I'm currently thinking about calling a network to find a substitution because my closest way to where I'm going is going to take me around two hours, even though it's less than seven kilometers away from here. How many billions does Deutsche Bahn get from the taxpayer? And now they're closing here for a week? I'm sorry. It's since seven o'clock, I'm outside, so... No, at all. What have you told your boss? I'm sick. <laughs> Train drivers want a reduction in working hours, a blanket raise and a €3,000 inflation compensation payment. Train bosses balked at the demands. Their compromise offer was rejected by the union. We had signalled our willingness to negotiate until the very end that we wanted to prevent it. But the union continues to escalate the situation and refuses to enter into negotiations with us. The government has called on both sides to get around the table, but an early end to the six-day standoff appears unlikely.